Hello friends, welcome to the Eden Vlog. This week we're at Ramstown Arts Festival for the Creativate Digital Arts Festival. We've just seen some great talks, uh, there's beautiful exhibitions, lots of really exciting digital art projects. Uh, finally a place for digital art and uh, technology to meet and to be celebrated. So uh, come with us, we're going to show you around and have a look at some amazing artwork. My name is Toby Shapshak and I've helped curate Creativate uh, this year and last year. It was the brainchild of Tony Lancaster who is the hyper energetic and very calm uh, CEO of the National Arts Festival and the idea was to bring together creativity and, and, and innovation. So creativity and innovate. Creativate. And the idea is what is digital art? Because digital art is a, is a very nascent, it's a very new field. No one really knows what it is. What defines it? Is it just making art with an iPad instead of a, a brush or a pen and, and paper? Is it using technology in novel new ways that people haven't thought of before? Is it combining technology with old forms of arts like dance or theatre and, and it's a bit of all of that I suppose. I mean if you look at some of the runaway successes of, of the 2019 Creative Aids, Circus Alfon from Sweden have combined brilliant visuals, uh, a, a track and, and, and clever use of, of simple things like like a, a camera taking video of the, of the audience and, and a little bit of clever editing to make that into an incredibly entertaining, enlivening form of artwork. Um, people like Gary Baseman, who's a, who's a renowned illustrator, who's had a, an animated TV show on Disney, has used his peculiar way of talking about his life and talking about art to do a, a masterful presentation about, about his theory of art, which is art is sharing, art is, is, is communicating to people. And, 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 and it's this kind of novel new ways of using technology, using virtual reality, uh, augmented reality, the, uh, the, the clever guys from Eden Lab, who um, Gareth is filming this as it so happens, and the work they did with the Tomorrow Gallery and the Center for the Less Good Idea, and the work they've done with augmented reality and artwork and, and introducing artists like Kentridge, you know, arguably South Africa's greatest artist, to use a new medium like virtual reality and to create something that he's renowned for, which is his typewriters, and using the virtual reality interface for him to create art that you can walk around and you can stand inside the typewriter. These are, these are new frontiers for traditional artists and it's also a brand new way of people to conceptualize of what is art and at the end of the day art is something that makes you think or makes you feel it's not something you have to explain this is why you have to think or feel like that you know that's not art that's journalism but it's this new form of art that is bringing up emotions and reactions in people and that ultimately is what art is I mean if you think about what set Picasso apart well you know he started drawing African masks in his artworks in the you know 1905 in that very early era and we now call it proto-cubism but it was that adventuresome nature of what many consider the greatest painter you know to have existed in the in the 20th century um, it's that kind of experimentation and I think that's where we are right now with digital art. Wow. 